Welcome to Windward TV. I'm your host, Kevin Schilter, and today we have David Cornetz from Red Tooth Books on the show. David, welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. In this episode, we're going to be talking about consignment inventory and how that might be able to save you some inventory investment inside your business, as well as distribution can be a real challenge in Canada for Canadian authors. So today we're going to be talking about some authors, some fantastic authors that you may not have heard about before. So David, uh, welcome to the show again. How, how about did you get started? Oh, well, I started by uh, the fact that I'm an author and I've, these are some of my books here. And uh, about 2007, I published my, my first book, self-published my first book. And uh, then I started selling it and trying to get it into bookstores. And I found that, you know what, I could not get distribution. And bookstores, when you try to deal with them, they want you to leave your books on consignment. Well, if you travel around and leave your books all over the place on consignment, you have, it, it's very, very hard to keep track, very hard to get the money. And then if they don't sell, uh, that you have to send them money so they can ship them back to you. It, it just, it was a, a bit of a nightmare. So uh, a few years ago, I decided to start uh, a book distribution business for Canadian authors because it's, it's, it seemed almost impossible to get distribution here in Canada. So as a Canadian author, was it easier to get distribution in the United States than it was in Canada? Yes, I actually had a couple offers down there and there's, uh, they've got quite a few programs. I had my books on Amazon.com. Uh, and at the time, I could not get them on .ca. You have to be a, uh, a vendor to list books on, on, on Amazon.ca. Anyway, I, I, uh, I finally decided to start this business and I consulted, uh, actually Susan Anderson was the first person I consulted. She wrote a book called Self-Publishing in Canada. Mm. And it was my guide when I was producing my books. And the only thing I needed was some software <laughs> to run the business. Uh, so I put together what I thought was a fair model where the, the publisher makes money, Red Tooth Books, the distributor makes money, and the bookstore makes money. So everybody makes money, I thought that that should work. But uh, I needed a way of doing tracking that, it tracking all. everything, <laughs> because uh, basically I become, I take, uh, I take all of the books from my publishers, which right now I have 80, they all come in on consignment. How many titles? Titles, about 230 titles right now. Okay. And it's growing about 10 or 12 titles a month mm -hmm. in that area. I was, I was familiar with Windward, and I knew it did consignment. And so, sure enough, I set it up, and, uh, and, it, and it worked perfectly because um, I sell the books. It does the calculation for me as to what the publisher gets. And then every three months, I run a sales report, and it, it shows all the books. And books sell at different prices. You know, if I... Uh, um, the bookstore gets a 40% discount, but libraries get a 30% discount. Or I also sell like through Amazon.ca, I now sell to the public, I sell to the public from Red Tooth Books, and uh, there is no discount on that. So they have, there's various amounts. So the author's getting, of course, paid when a book sells. Yeah, and they get paid based on the sale. So okay. that payment they get varies, and the consignment module just does all that calculations for me, so I don't have to worry about it. I just print out the reports. Well, that's that's fair as well, right? So obviously, if there's more margin being made for uh, for an Amazon CA sale, then the author's getting getting paid for that. Yeah, yeah. On, on Amazon, I just you know, there's a small fee that goes in, I think, to take out for what they they charge. Mm -hmm. The Red Tooth Books, though, for instance, is um, the publisher makes seventy percent, and that's more than they'd make through a bookstore. Wow. If they went direct. So and it all balances out, and you know, uh, they actually they actually do quite well. Uh, but the, the, the one, the different thing with, with bookstores is they can return these books within a year. So uh, I'll, I'll sell, sell some books, I'll run my sales report, pay the, pay the publisher, and all those books come back. So if I didn't have software to handle all this, you know, I'd have to put them separately in inventory and always check that when I got sales because I'd have to resell those books. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to do that. They come back, I just put them back in inventory, not a problem because when I go to sell that book, uh, the software pops up a list. Oh, it shows me I have some books that have been returned. I pick those. It returns them. They do not show up in the sales report. I've already paid for them. So right. I don't want them to show up in the sales report. So that all works. So it, it, it just, it takes away all, all of that kind of inventory hassle. Because really I have very few books in my inventory. So I guess consignment is a, is a, a unique way of, of kind of putting the, I guess the, the the author is paying for the books themselves, and you're just acting as, as that distribution mechanism to exactly, and they get paid as they that. sell. And I keep a min I keep a, a small amount of inventory in stock based on their sales. Mm -hmm. uh, the more the book sells, the more I want to keep. But I don't tie up all of their inventory. 
I just, you know, as I get when I when I get down to the uh, a certain point in sale, you know, and what I've got in stock, I tell them to ship me more books, and so we just continually do that. Well, it's it's saving an uh, inventory investment from Red Tuke perspective, right? Otherwise, you would you would have to invest tens of thousands of dollars. Oh yeah, in, I'd have to have a huge, right? a huge inventory, yeah. and then I could not offer what I can to pay the publishers, which is why the you know the bigger distributors they take a much bigger cut. Distributors usually take about seventy percent. Wow. Okay. Okay, and, and uh, like and I said, and you're say, the other side. And the other way around, I yeah. pay seventy percent based on sale. So the lowest they will ever receive on a sale is forty-two percent, and okay. they can receive up to seventy percent of the sale. So they do very well. Great. If you're interested in picking up David's Chronicles of the Damon Knights or self-publishing in Canada, you can head to Red Tooth Books or Amazon.ca. And remember, at Winward Software, we help you run your business instead of just reporting on it.